in, in we've had a question area. from Alessandro, or sorry, Alexandra, I beg your pardon, um, who's asked whether you know of any negative effects on us when we're wearing surgical masks for so many hours of the day. That's been a very popular question on social media and elsewhere over the last few months. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been measuring it with my patients because I do capnometry and oximetry, you know, as part of yeah. my evaluation. And um, a lot of my colleagues have similar, you know, people into the, in the breathing world have similar equipment. So we've all been measuring patients and we can tell you, no, masks do not drop oxygen and they do not raise CO2. And that discomfort that people um, are getting when they put a mask on, it's just about the difference in airflow. I mean, you know how when you, you close all the windows and the air feels stuffy, there isn't necessarily less oxygen or more carbon dioxide, like the composition of the gases hasn't changed. But when there's no movement of air, that yeah. can feel stuffiness. So I think it's more a stuffiness issue. And um, with a number of my patients, I've actually had to, because in Victoria, you know, you can't wear, you can't go outdoors without wearing a mask. And so, and I'm insisting that people wear a mask in my practice and I wear a mask when I'm in clinic. And, you know, people, some, some of my patients, because they have breathing issues and difficulties, you know, they get a little bit like, I can't wear a mask. And I say, no, yes, you can just sit down. Let's look at this. So I measure their oxygen. You know, I put a shield on and I say, okay, let's look at your breathing with the mask off. And I say, okay, there's your oxygen. There's your carbon dioxide. Okay, let's put the mask on. Okay, so how do you feel? And they go, oh, I feel a little short of breath. I say, okay, just relax. Slow your breathing down. Breathe a little softly. Let's look at your oxygen. How is it looking? And they go, it's fine. I say, well, it hasn't dropped at all. And they go, okay, what about your carbon dioxide? It hasn't gone up. And then they're sort of reassured, you know. Yeah. And then I, I think social, of... social media is responsible for an awful lot of unnecessary worry, isn't it? And I yeah. believe that there were a number of surgical consultants who produced their own little uh, post on, on Facebook or wherever saying, look, we wear these bloody things all day long and it doesn't affect mm -hmm. our um, blood gas okay. composition and so on. Yeah, exactly. So uh, people should be reassured. Been... It's almost a claustrophobic effect rather than anything else, isn't yeah, it? As you, exactly. as you write, so. you're, you're, you're right there, Steve. It's a kind of a claustrophobic effect. It's a bit of a, it's a psychophysiological effect. Yeah.